Well, as they grow up, kids have lots of different collections, dolls, toys, baseball cards. But as News 3's Andrew Davis found, a low country man who is a kid at heart has kept his collection going and going. This week, the RBC Heritage is taking on some of the world's best golfers. Next week, Belfair will take on the PGA Professional Champions. Doug Coop may be one of the best as well, but not as a golfer, but as a collector of golf balls. And now you're going to see <laughs> either a very sick man or a guy with too much time on his hands. A walk upstairs takes you into Doug Coop's ultimate man cave. The walls of the attic, every wall covered in golf balls. These, for example, are anything you can find in the supermarket. This is my so-called international section. One room takes you into another. Blue corporates and then on down to orange and some red there. And then this is all black corporates. And another. In this corner are all the courses I've played, which number, I don't know, 486 or so. Cartoon stuff, um, odds and ends. There's seemingly no end to Doug's collection. Categorized, alphabetized, 15,000 in all, all started 20 years ago at a little course in Vermont. So a lot of balls would end up in the river, so I'd go in the river to take the balls. And if I found a logo ball, I'd just throw in a bucket. That bucket morphed into this. Somebody said, well, Doug, do you have them all cataloged? And I said, no. And I said, quite frankly, I'm not sure I would have the patience to do that. You run a borderline issue where sometimes something could morph into what might be deemed a job, if you will. And I didn't, you know, this is certainly recreation. 85% of these were found by Doug or his wife, Vivian, but now friends like to get in on the act, too. We had friends traveling in Russia, and they played the course Gorky, so they got me a ball from Russia. And even among the thousands that line those walls, it's still easy for Doug to pick his favorite. My favorite ball is right there, is Bushwood Country Club, Caddyshack. I mean, if you're going to have a favorite ball, might as well be Caddyshack. And what golf collection is complete without a putting green? All part of Doug's very large labor of love. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Doug isn't just focused on his own collection. He actually started a program within Belfair to give all the used clubs from members over to local military and military who are deployed overseas. He does say one thing, though. They have to use their own golf balls. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3.